What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the calculation of the final temperature. O2 gas is at a uh, temperature of 50 degrees Celsius when it occupies a volume of 5.3 <coughs> liters. To what temperature should it be raised to occupy a volume of 7.5 liters? So here, we can assume that we have constant pressure because it's not mentioned so at constant pressure we have this relationship between volume and temperature we can say V divided by T equals to a constant number so it means that V1 divided by T1 equals to V2 divided by T2 V1 initial volume T1 initial temperature V2 final volume T2 final temperature and you don't need to you you need to know the temperature must be in terms of Kelvin always not Celsius so you always need to be careful to change the temperatures to Kelvin so right now the temperature T1 is 50 I want to add it to 73.15 it's going to be 323.15 kelvin that's going to be the initial temperature at kelvin so we have v1 which is the initial volume 5.3 divided by 323.15 and v2 7.5 divided by t2 so we need to find final temperature so we can do cross multiplication we can say t2 equals to 323 times 0.15 times 7.5 divided by 5.3 that will make it 323.15 multiplied by 7.5 divided by 5.3 that will be 457.29 Kelvin and since it's Kelvin we need to just find it in Celsius it's going to be 457.29 minus 273.15 so I stopped writing 273.15 that's going to make it 184.14 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the final answer. So as you see here, the pressure, the volume increase, so the temperature must be increased too. Because whenever you have, it's called Charles Law, when the temperature is going up at constant pressure, volume is increasing too. Whenever the temperature is going down, volume is going down too. I hope you liked this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as I can.